along French Road this morning. Emily, more than 900 homes out in that area. It's tough. Right, Catherine, and thousands more could be waking up cold this morning as these power crews work around the clock to try to get these people as comfortable as possible. You can see this substation behind me. Now, this is near where We Energy says they need specialized crews to come in and fix equipment damaged by snow and ice. Take a look at this video showing some situations people might be seeing today. You can see those traffic lights out of order, a small grocery store losing food because of warm freezers. A spokesperson for WPS says there's an army of field crews and hundreds of extra workers from throughout the Midwest all coming together in northeast Wisconsin to fix this as soon as possible. Crews hearing more than 2,000 reports of damaged utility poles, power lines on the ground, and broken trees. Our Action to News team listening to stories from so many people waiting for their power to come back. Back. Some staying at a hotel in Sturgeon Bay to wake up in a warm room. Well, the power lines went down all over the all over our road. I guess one was crossing the road going, and one was in the drive. And then they moved them over, and trees were down, and it's pretty scary. A little bit of good news, though, that WPS spokesperson says he expects most people to have their power back by the end of the day. So the countdown is on. Fingers crossed everyone gets that back as soon as possible. Catherine.